Hi, I'm Karen. Thanks for tuning in to another session of the Control Cabinet Classroom. And I'm Zach. In this video, we'll focus on different connection methods used in terminal blocks. Did you know that Phoenix Contact created the world's first terminal block that could be individually mounted on a DIN rail? Believe it or not, Karen, I did know that. <laughs> I know you know that, Zach. I was talking to them. Oh. Anyway, from the early 20th century till now, Phoenix Contact has been at the forefront of terminal block innovation, including the development of different connection technologies. That's right, Karen. You can see here in front of us we have a number of different connection types. Each of these connection types are tested to the same standards with regard to reliability, vibration, and pull-out force. So let's begin with the most popular method, screw clamp. This is a UT terminal block from Phoenix Contact. Screw clamp technology has been the connection of choice for many years across most industries because it provides a reliable and secure termination with a high pull-out force. Let's demonstrate terminating a wire with screw clamp technology. First, you'll need to prep the wire by removing a section of the insulation away from the copper conductor, like this. After it's stripped to the proper length as specified by the manufacturer, the wire is inserted into the terminal block and the screw is tightened. It's important to tighten the screw to the proper torque value to ensure a secure connection. That's why we'll be using a torque screwdriver here to achieve that. The next connection technology is commonly referred to as spring cage. At Phoenix Contact, this is known as the ST terminal block series. Spring cage provides a quicker method of terminating and disconnecting wires as compared to screw clamp. Let me show you how to terminate a wire in an ST terminal block. Again, we prep the wire by removing the insulation based on the recommended manufacturer's specification for strip length. Using a screwdriver, insert at an angle into the spring cage cavity to open up the clamp. You can then insert the wire into the opening. Be sure the wire is fully seated and then remove the screwdriver. This provides a very secure, reliable, and touch-safe connection. Because there is no screw, which could get loose over time, the spring cage connection style is excellent for high vibration environments such as assembly lines and heavy machining applications. Another type of connection for terminal blocks is PT, or push-in termination. This type of connection is tool-free operation that allows users to easily insert, remove, and reinsert wires without a tool. With PT terminal blocks, the ideal wire dressing is the use of a ferrule place at the end of a conductor. Ferrules help provide a consistent, secure connection that helps prevent individual wire strands from splitting or straying during insertion. Kind of like Zach's hair when he isn't using product. To demonstrate, let's take the wire with the ferrule in place and insert it into the terminal port. That's it! You're done! PT provides safe and reliable connections that are fast and secure. To remove the wire, simply take a screwdriver, or even a pen, and push down on the orange button, which disengages the leg spring inside the block and releases the wire for easy removal. The next terminal block connection is what we call QTC, or Quick Terminal Connection. The technical description is Insulation Displacement Connection, IDC, and the benefit for this type of terminal block connection is how it enables an operator to terminate a wire without the need of stripping the insulation away. Let me demonstrate how this connection is performed. Insert an unprepped wire into the terminal port and make sure the wire is fully seated. Take a screwdriver, insert it into the orange slot, and actuate the lever like this. Within the terminal block, small precision blades slice into the edges of the insulation, thus displacing it, to make proper contact with the copper wire. Once this is accomplished, we have very safe, secure connection that required no special tools. The fifth and final type of terminal block connection style is the ring lug terminal block. This product is the RT or ring terminal series from Phoenix Contact that requires ring or spade termination connectors placed at the end of the conductor and are typically used to upgrade from a barrier strip. That's right, Zach. Ring lug terminal blocks are very common within the electric power industry for utility grade connections in substations and power generation plants. To demonstrate this type of connection, we first want to make sure that our wire has either a spade or ring terminal properly crimped on the conductor. Then the rig terminal is placed over the bolt and landed at the barrier terminal block. At this point, the plastic cover, which contains a metal nut, is snapped into place. This forms a touch safe connection to protect the user as well as the terminal point. With a standard flathead screwdriver, we secure the nut on the bolt to complete a very secure connection. 
let's briefly review the five connection styles of terminal blocks covered in this video. First, the UT or universal terminal for screw clamp connections. Next, the ST for spring terminal connections. The PT for push-in connections. QTC for quick termination with insulation displacement connections. And lastly, the RT or ring termination for barrier block like ring lug connections. Five connection styles to support connectivity applications across every major industry. Thank you for watching. If you really connected with this episode, right. make sure to give us a big old thumbs up and push in that subscribe button. See you in the next class.